Right, we've just purchased a uh, T-Tech uh, Pro battery charger, specially designed for AMG batteries. As the cars that we've got, we can't use ordinary battery chargers on them. So, <clears throat> been looking forward to getting, getting one of these chargers for quite some time. Uh, so, let's unbox it and see what it's uh, see what it's like. Package well. All right, straight away we've got a uh, got a manual which comes with it. This should be one good charger. We bought an MXS10 instead of the 25 uh, model because it was more uh, cost effective and I think it does it just as well rather than buying the uh, the 25 version looks like it's even got a bag that's quite neat right the charger we've got usual crocodile leads The, that's the charger. Oh, that's neat. We've actually got some uh, male and female plugs, so you can plug it together. That one's obviously for putting onto a battery directly onto your onto your car. Then obviously you just plug in. The charger so it's a quick release that is a very very neat system and the same with the crocodile clips which means you can have two or three batteries connected right that's obviously the uh, temperature sender monitors the outside temperature that obviously goes into the unit so Snip it off, I think. That's quite neatly uh, packaged, actually, because it's got these uh, grommets on. So when it's in transit, it's not moving around everywhere. So just snip off the rubber rubber grommets underneath. That away. Well, that's quite neat because you can mount that. Let's move that out of the way. These you can actually mount onto the uh, workshop wall. So when you're charging, one mains plug. Put the snips away. That is neat. <coughs> Now, as we can see on here, we've got mode, car, which obviously recognises uh, AGM, which what we what is what we want. Uh, recondition, supply. That's obviously if you've got uh, the terminals around the wrong way, I should think. Or well, that one is there, and that's a green light for power. And obviously, it will tell what we've got. But this is this is brilliant. This is. <coughs> Just connecting and you're away or if it's permanently on the vehicle plug it in that is that is nice that's the best one I've seen in a long long time right what we'll do is uh, get a battery up and I will connect it to a battery uh, we'll put it to a Range Rover battery uh, which is an AGM and see how it's uh, how it works <clears throat> good battery charger I must admit it looks really good so we put it on put it on there get a battery oh. 
Right, one massive Range Rover battery. Hit the voltmeter. Right, this is one. This has been in storage at the company for about four or five months. I put that to uh, put it on top. Actually, we'll be able to see the voltage. Twelve volt supply. We've got twelve nine eight in there. I think that's picked it up on the. Uh, Turn it around a little bit. 1298. So it's a fully charged battery, but it hasn't been charged for three or four months. So we'll rig up the uh, the new charger and see what it comes out with. Right, let's get some power supply. Right, power supply. Oh, that's heavy beast. Right, put the charger there. Now what, what we'll do to start with is connect it up to what we're gonna do. So I'll go over to there. We'll use the crocodile clips on this. Negative, positive. Obviously, you always connect uh, positive first, then the negative. When you're reconnecting the battery, plug it into the uh, plug it into the mains. All right, straight straight away, we've got a power supply on. says it's okay mode car or AGM we're gonna leave it on AGM because it's an AGM battery and it's straight away it's gone up to the uh, symbols <clears throat> so if I leave that there on the screen I'll get the manual so if I go to the uh, the English and I'll see exactly what it says. Right, number one, desulfation, which it's done. Soft start, it's done. Number three is bolt charging. Number four is absorption, which it's doing at the moment. Number five will be analyze. Number six, we can see there, says recondition. So I'll put that there. You'll be able to see exactly what it's doing. Oh, actually, I'll put a screenshot on there so you can uh, so you can see it in a bit. So I'm going to leave that for about 10 minutes. The battery is fully charged, really, but it's saying it's uh, putting an absorbers and testing at the moment. So what it's doing, it's uh, pulling in 14.7 volts at 25 Celsius. Actually, what I might do. It's, there's, a, there's a probe on here, a temperature probe. It's not too cold, but we'll see what this does to it. But you can imagine on the side, where does that get plugged into? All right, let's get the book out. Find out where this, uh, find out where that temperature probe actually goes into the temperature sender goes on the side in there where you've got the output leads come in but it's blanked off ah there's a cap underneath plastic see that that's where you find it and because it's gold as well that almost looks like a metal casing so lift that off and it slots in there. So that's now the temperature sender. Temperature reader, sorry. So that's reading the 
temperature, but that I would have never have found. So it's underneath the cover. So what I'll do, I'm going to leave that on there for a bit. Uh, see what charger we've got in there, because that is a fully charged battery. It's on uh, AGM, which it recognises. Uh, the, the, that button there, T, temperature sender, because it's lit up, because it knows it's in there. So that's obviously affecting the charge going in. Uh, and that's the state, I think that was wrong priority, uh, priority. If you've got them mixed up, that will light up. That means you've got power. What we're looking for at the moment is it's gone to number five, which would be number five is analyzing. So number three on the on the graph, it says uh, bulk charging, charging with a maximum current until approximately 80% of the battery capacity is reached. After that, it will go on to number four, absorption, charging while declining the current, maximize up to 100% battery capacity. Number five is what we want it to go on to, uh, analyzing. It says, test if the battery can hold a charge. Batteries that cannot hold a charge may, to be, may need to be replaced. That's an interesting one. Number six, which will be there. That's basically it. Anyway, that's the that's the unit. It's a lovely unit. It's solid. It is very robust. It can be mounted on the wall. Um, yeah, that is a very very good battery charger. Well pleased with it. Better than all the other ones that we've uh, we've had.